Howdy neighbors. Thought I'd give you an update. Mike and I have been working on cleaning up and sorting through stuff that I'm going to throw away or yard sale or give away. easier for me in the long run getting the stuff that has been just sitting in a pile basically rotting away for a long time and I'm slowly working my way up into there so I can sort through that stuff and then Get rid of the willow that's all down. I brought a big branch out of the, one of the willows last year, and it's just sitting there still waiting to be sorted through. I've got the grapes watering right now. I had... The pomegranates watering last night. I had uh, part of the main garden watering last night. And I watered the fence line early this morning about 4. And about an hour and a half ago I switched and got this water line going. And this is where we're stacking and sorting some of the stuff that I can, you know, somebody will either give me a few bucks for or eventually just haul it out of here, including my shopsmith. And then we're going to dig the other van out and probably haul it down here so I can get everything out of it. It's been used as storage for all these years. I haven't moved it in probably 15 years. Uh, four water barrels with tops on them right there. They're a friend of mine's. I got to get them back to her. She let me use them when I, when my pump was going out on my well. So I had them up on the hill and I filled them. And then when I was, when the pump finally went out, I could use them for water. This is some of the stuff that's just junk. It's been stacked along here. Got to go through all that. There's one of them $600 pools. Used it three years. Now it's rotting away in our crappy roast-you-to-death sun. Sort through that stuff. There's going to be stuff going to the dump, stuff being burned, and stuff worth somebody will buy, you know, at a yard sale. When my sons and I built a roller coaster, that's the little cart that they made for it. Just some wood and skateboard wheels. 
worked really well. I mentioned wanting to put water tanks under the van and a buddy of mine brought me over three different water tanks. <laughs> uh, chain link fence. I've got about 120 feet of six foot chain link fence right here. Gotta roll it all up, move it. Old water lines, more skirting. A lawnmower that worked two years and then quit. That's one of them 10 by 10 covers, you know, that you set up when you're camping. I forgot to put it down one time and a windstorm destroyed it. Just like the wind destroyed my van, or greenhouse. Uh, another table saw that was wore out cooler it actually does work but old cabinet stuff that's just burnable and yeah here I am back at this this all was cleaned up until I dropped the tree and now I gotta haul all that throw it down the hill can't even get over to the waterfalls from here anymore. Unless you trip over all this stuff. <laughs> That's a Christmas tree stand. <laughs> Upside down, of course. So, anyway... Little by little, I've been kind of dealing with a back that's telling me to knock it off. This is where I dump a lot of stuff on the hillside right here. And it eventually mulches down. <sighs> cactus. These are cactus that people give me and I throw a piece down on the ground. It roots. Starts growing. The big fat ones you can eat. <sighs> Guess you can hear the chickens and the morning doves. Oh yeah, yesterday, a turkey flew right over my, right over where we were, up where we are up top there, and down over to my neighbors, over in that area. And then, I saw a dove, I was walking down to the waterfall, and a dove flopped around in there, and a red-tailed hawk come flying out and headed across over there. That was all within about 10 minutes of each other. <clears throat> all right. I guess that's enough for now. Later.